Hello everyone, welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm not in my usual recording space, and that is for the reason that I am doing a school project. What is that school project? Well, I'm making a welding tutorial. Recently, I got into a welding class for this semester, and it's been a lot of fun. And our final project is to make a welding tutorial. What weld will we be doing? Well, it will be a 7014 corner weld. Don't mind the bottom part, just the pyramid looking thing, how it stands up like this. They're standing up together and then you weld the top. Yeah, welding is a very fun thing to do, and before we get into how to do this, we have to go over the safety steps first. So, let's get to it. Right. Now that we're in the shop, we need a bit of safety equipment before we start. First, one of the most important things is safety goggles. You should always be wearing safety goggles when you come in. Things can get in your eyes, you can damage your eyes, you should always have these on. Next, you will need a welding coat to protect against those sparks that might get on your clothes, and they could burn your clothes too. It's always good to have a coat. You should always have your shade at around 12, 13. Sense should be high and delay is fast. Then it should always be set to weld and 9, 13. All right, now that we are all set up with our uh, equipment, let's get to welding. All right, now that we have our safety equipment, let's talk about, talk about the machine. So first, we gotta turn it on, and that's with this. So now, we have turned it on and the machine should be on now. All right, next we need the function. So it should always be set to stick if you're doing stick welding because you know, it makes sense. It's set to stick right now and your amps, that's these, should be set to 100. They are set already to 100, so if it wasn't, you would just use this little knob to turn it. All right, how does we come up here? This should be the setup you have when you're trying to do a corner weld. You need a magnet and the two metal. The reason you need the magnet is because you have to be able to tack the inside of it. So that way, it stays together. Then after you tack it, you don't need the magnet. All right, let's get to this. All right, guys. I'm just putting this in because I forgot to say this in the video. When you are welding and pushing the puddle, do circular motions with the stick and just push the puddle along, doing a little bit of a circular motion with the stick. I forgot to mention this in the video. So yeah, I'm putting it in now. All right, now that the machine is set up, let's start this off. So put on your welding helmets and let's get to this. We have tacked it now. All right, so let's dunk it. All right, now that we have tacked it, I almost burned myself, that would not be happy. We have it tacked here, and it does not want to cooperate. So now, you want to dunk it, so that way it's cooled off. And yeah, you don't need to chip this off because no one's gonna be looking at this part. This is the only inside, because this is what matters. All right, let's get to it. All right. Now that we have tacked it, we are ready to start the weld. So when you start, I'm not going to put it on because the machine is on, actually. The machine is off now. When you start it, you want to do in here, as you can see, and you want to just push the puddle along down the whole way. All right, let's put on our welding helmets, and let's do this. Finish the weld, see what it looks like now. All right, we have the weld here, but for now, we need to dunk it. So, let's cool it off, and it will steam off. All right, now that we have dunked it, what we need next, we need a hammer. Then, you just want to chip off all of the slag. For some reason, there isn't very much on here. Sometimes it'll happen, so you just want to get all of that off. And then, we will need one more thing. That is a broom or a brush. You will brush it off, and now you are done. See, this is not my best job, um, corner weld, but it's, it definitely is pretty good. I followed a line, and I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, 
that was my tutorial on how to do a 7014 corner weld. I hope you found this video helpful. Try it out yourself and let me know down in the comments if it was helpful or not. And with that, have a good day.